and welcome back to Physician News Network. I'm not a doctor, so I'm not even going to try and explain this, but I want to bring Dr. Joe Evans back in so that he can demonstrate exactly how this works. Dr. Evans, come on in. Now, remember, Dr. Evans is a Ph.D., not a medical doctor, but you did invent this, so why don't you go ahead and just demonstrate exactly how this procedure works. Thank you, Bill. I'd be glad to. I've got a uh, patient who's going to play the role of a patient here, John. And uh, I'm, first of all, I'm going to show John how repeatable this instrument really is. Now, the instrument records everything that I do to the patient during treatment and uh, during a analysis in treatment. So I'm going to ask John to give me a driver's license or credit card, and we're going to put uh, it in and create a patient file. And there's a little wiper here, and I'm just going to create the patient file just like that. I'm going to ask John to come over, and we're going to set the height of this approximately at his shoulders. Now, John, I want you to take the tip of your, or take your forehead and put it in this groove right here. Put your arms up here and rest your forearms on the cushion. And can you see your toes? Yes. Okay. And uh, now I'm just going to test each position all the way down the back as the pretest before applying any any intervention. Now you can take take measurements through a light light clothing like this. Of course it would be better if the patient were gowned and you were working on bare skin, but this works fairly well and is quicker. Now, the instrument tells me, if I happen to forget where I am, and John has his belt loosened so I can get down the sacral area. I was doing this one time, and I was the patient, and I had suspenders on, and the clinician pulled my suspenders off to get at my back, and my pants fell down. John, normally I wouldn't let a patient... Uh, look at this yet, but look, you are, have a problem up in here and a problem here, and if it's okay, I'll just apply multiple impulse therapy to those points and we'll see what happens. That would be great. Now, it has picked uh, one, two, three, four, five segments that uh, we use an algorithm for, but don't be mistaken. Uh, we are not as smart as any experienced clinician. This is not a diagnosis. It's simply an analysis. The clinician uses many more inputs than simply this to make a decision as to where to apply therapy. But we'll go ahead and put it at C1. And it has a small response there, so I'm going to go on to T11. And as the musculature relaxes, the frequency of application will slow, and that gives the clinician both an audible and he can watch it over here, a visible response. I can do this segment as many times as I want until I get the appropriate response that I'm looking for. Now to get to the next segment, there's a button on the head, and I just click that, and it goes to C7. You can hear it slowing down, and the stiffness at that point is de decreasing rather dramatically. It's four. S4 is down in his sacral area. And I'm getting a nice re relaxation response in that area as well. So I expect to see uh, a nice uh, after or post response when we go back to check him. Now, 
there's a beautiful response as it slows down. Now we're going to go not choose anything more, although I could at this point. But I'm going to go back, do and do back and do the post test. Okay, John. You can see that this area here that showed very high stiffness has come down close to the expected value line as this place, as this, uh, as C1 has also. Overall, we got a very good response pre to post. And uh, John ought to be feeling different. How do you feel? I feel much better. Great. And this is not much. painful. This was just all done without any kind of invasive procedure at all. Just that simple. That's correct. It's just a muscular reaction reflex. All right. Thank you very much, doctor. You're welcome. And patient. Thank you. <laughs>